I love your kitchen. Everyone who's going to come is here because oh. so many people can't come. Oh. Oh, this, let's see, Darling Kent is still coming. Is this like the snow year? Well, this is like, I tell you, Mary Miller fell. We did yeah. 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 There's, there's Miss Marilyn. <laughs> you don't have to stop. Keep going. Okay, we don't need to have any more people. Oh, that's all Well, I have to show Jessica the party. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Oh, so they knew she had my grandson goes to the University of Virginia. Now, let's see. So I knew that I had on it. I was such a good one. Yeah. 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 Y
and it would not go away. All the bits. We talked about the limitations she had to face. She spoke with utter candor, with humor and good grace. Then defying the reality of the crutch and the straightened knee, on wings of hospitality, she flew to brew that cup of tea. I sat alone with feelings that I hadn't felt in years. I looked around at Christmas through a thick, hot blur of tears. And the candles and the holly, she'd arranged every shelf and she'd baked all of the wonderful Christmas goodies all by herself. But these rich, tactile memories became quite pale and thin when measured by the Christmas my great aunt kept deep within. Her body halved and nearly spent, but my great aunt was whole. I saw a Christmas miracle and the triumph of a soul. The triple beat of two feet and a crutch came down the hall, the rattle of the china in the hutch against the wall. She poured two cups, she smiled, and then handed one to me. And then we settled back and we had our cup of Christmas tea. Thank you for having Christmas tea with me. <laughs> We did it. We did it. Another one down. <laughs>